Hi everybody. I wanted to uh, clear up um, one of the essay questions on the exam two. It was the first essay question out of four, and it was the one about the characteristics of sedimentary rocks. Specifically, three things were asked about. There was grain size, the sorting, and the rounding of the grains in a sedimentary rock. A lot of people, when they approach this question, tend to focus on the most easily appreciated thing, which is the rounding. If you had uh, a breccia with lots of angular fragments in it, and that's a poorly sorted sedimentary rock, and you compared that to a conglomerate, which has nice well-rounded grains in it, it's also poorly sorted. The difference between these two is the rounding of the grains, and basically it correlates to how tumbled the grains are. The more tumbled they are, the likelier it is that they've traveled further away from their source. So, for instance, you know, to um, break down some uh, rocks in some mountains, and if you dumped the debris from that right there next to the mountains, you might end up getting a breccia. But uh, if, on the other hand, rivers transported that uh, sediment a good distance away and then dumped it somewhere else, then you might end up with um, this situation here, which would be more like the conglomerate. So the grains are more angular close to their source, and they're more rounded further away from their source. But that's different from, say, the story that you get from grain size or from sorting. Um, let's go ahead and, and approach grain size first. You can have some sedimentary rocks that are made out of really big pieces. So here I'm drawing another conglomerate with some nice big uh, grains in it versus another sample of sedimentary rock with really tiny itty bitty grains. The difference between these two is that the one that's made out of very, very big grains must have been deposited under high energy conditions in order to have those big grains capable of being moved. You, you, you pick up a rock, it's heavy, it's got mass, it takes force to move that mass. And if you have like big cobbles or boulders or pebbles, you need to have a strong current that's capable of moving those um, large particles of rock. Whereas with a very fine grained sedimentary rock, you don't need much current at all to move a little tiny flake of silt or clay. So generally what this um, breaks down to is that you have high energy conditions giving you large grain sedimentary rocks versus low energy conditions giving you fine grain sedimentary rocks. Finally, there's this issue of sorting where basically you could have a rock which, again, let's use a conglomerate as an example of a poorly sorted uh, sedimentary rock, lots of different sized pieces all together. That can be contrasted with a sandstone where you've got basically sand sized grains, but they're all about uh, the same size. So that difference there is basically the difference between dumping all your material in one place all at once versus depositing your big grains in location A, carrying your medium sized grains a little bit further and depositing them there, and carrying your finest grain sediments further still and depositing them at that location. So basically like a, a landslide where you've got say some hills and then suddenly boom, they fall down and you get a big pile of debris right next to the mountain. That's an example that will result in a poorly sorted sedimentary rock. Whereas if those landslide debris uh, pieces are carried downstream by a river and then that river enters the ocean, all right, so here's the open ocean, and um, starts dumping out the sediment, the coarse grain stuff gets deposited right where the river flows into the ocean the sand would get deposited further out beyond that, and then the very finest little flakes of mud would settle out further out in the ocean from there. So you end up basically getting the big stuff in one place, the medium stuff in another place, and the very fine stuff in a third place. That's what sorting tells you. It tells you how progressively the sediment was deposited, whether it was dumped all at once or deposited gradually uh, through a waning current over time. So grain size tells you about water energy. Sorting tells you about progressive sedimentation versus sudden um, deposition. And rounding basically tells you how far away the sediment was deposited from wherever it started off. I hope that clears it up. Thanks.